Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name's Malcolm. I'm the creator of Dreamer Loop. What I do is I write an editorial about a different inspirational individual on a weekly basis. I cover artists, musicians, entrepreneurs, basically anybody from any walk of life who has a skill that they're looking to master. I give them a platform so that they can hop on there and talk about what they do. Uh, today, we're out downtown Los Angeles. I'm enjoying the weather. I'm about to get ready to interview a cool guy by the name of Esteban who has a sound company. So I'm looking forward to speaking to him and seeing more about him. Esteban, how you doing, man? <laughs> Good. How are you? How you enjoying this sunny Los Angeles morning? Oh, I love Los Angeles in the morning. It's nice. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. It's nice. Same here. The weather's fine. The, the, the day is beautiful. <laughs> so you ready to get this thing started? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Could you tell us a bit about yourself? How old are you? Where were you born and raised? And what was it like growing up there? Uh, I'm 32 years old. I was born in Los Angeles, but I was raised in South Pasadena. Oh, I went through all the school districts there, so. Okay, did you enjoy growing up there? Yeah, it was awesome. It was like, uh, it's a very like creative environment. Like all the way through school, it was pretty cool. What did you want to become when you were a child and why? Mm, <laughs> honestly, just I, the, I was thinking of this and the, you know how like in fifth grade they have those books where you answer the questions and then later on in life the teacher gives it to you. And one of the questions was that. And I have written hmm. disc jockey and architecture. Oh wow, yeah. that was a funny combination. Yeah, I don't know why. And then I even had to ask my, I remember having to ask my teacher what the disc jockey was. Like, I want to blend tracks. I was trying to tell it to her. <laughs> yeah, because my brothers had all like shown me tapes and stuff, you know, DJs. So I was trying to explain it to her. What is the name of your business and what does it do? Uh, the name of the business is Adroit Sound and Entertainment. And we provide audiovisual services and entertainment for events. Okay. Uh, what made you choose that name for your business and what does name mean to you personally? Um, I, the word adroit, I picked it out because I heard it somewhere like I was reading and I came across the word and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool for like a business and I like put it in a little piece of paper and then when I went around to like thinking of a name, I was like, oh, I think that one's pretty good because it means to be clever and resourceful and then like in older dictionaries, it means to work well under pressure. So it's like a pretty cool word, you know? Could you briefly explain the process of your work? For example, if I hired you to arrange the sound for my concert, what would the process be like from start to finish? Okay, uh, it's actually pretty simple. So I would need to talk to you so you could tell me like a time frame, first of all, mm -hmm. like venue access and then uh, guest time frame and then guest count. And then from there, I get kind of like a mental picture of what could go on or like what we would actually need. And then after that, you can give me like an outline. So like what you're trying, or like a program more of like what you're trying to integrate into the event. For example, like if you went from a cocktail party to a panel discussion back to like a closing reception party, you know what I mean? And, mm -hmm. Or like if you went from a wedding ceremony to a wedding reception and then closing, you know what I mean? Like kind of tell me what you're trying to do with the event and then we can outline everything. And then what you need as far as like what you're going to present to the audience so like if you have media you're, you're going to need like flat screens and projectors and all that or if you're going to have like a performing artist or something then you just need those things for that it depends on how you're trying to present an idea to the audience and how big your audience is basically why did you see a need to develop this company and what was your inspiration uh, the need kind of developed naturally just uh, i used to have a dj crew like back in the day so we did like a lot of dances and house parties and proms and then that just went into like weddings and business functions and stuff like that. So it was just a natural progression. But as far as inspiration, I probably have to say like my brothers, like how they inspire me, like books or how they talk to me or share ideas. And then honestly, that movie Selena, have you seen the movie Selena? The dad created a whole sound system, like he taught Selena the music and 
put a PA together so she could perform and help develop her career. And I always thought that that was cool, like how he made a family business out of it. So after, after a while of having the need of fulfilling these events, introducing the business aspect to it was another natural progression. Okay, wow. Uh, what were some of the, comp the, the difficulties you faced when uh, developing this company? And um, how did you overcome them? Um, I would have to say the biggest one is finding, well, personally finding my own value in the situation and then now finding the value of the business in the situation that it's in. What is the most rewarding part of doing what you do? You know, I was thinking about this last night, right? Uh -huh. And um, being at home, like at the, at the very end of everything, like when everybody's gone, the equipment's away, and when I can be at home, like laying down and just not worried about the event, just knowing that it went well and everybody was happy, that's honestly like the best part of it. Okay. Uh, like the, the comfort of going to sleep, knowing you did your best, you know. I don't know, that's, that's my kicker. Are there any significant individuals that help you do what you do? If so, who and what do they do for you? Uh, immediately, I have my brother Jorge who helps with the social marketing and the marketing online and building the website and whatnot. And then we have people who help us with the actual events like Michael Castaneda, who I've known for a long time. And then Maya Geese, she helps us with booking entertainment and she builds our entertainment network. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then uh, Michael is like the forefront of the audio visuals, so we tend to send him to a lot of events. So, uh, reached our uh, final question. Uh, why do you think it's important for people to follow their dreams? Oh, not only is it important to fulfill the needs of the person, like their nature, you know, like follow their nature to be what it is that they are to be, you know, but it benefits the other people around them because in some way it may motivate them to be themselves as well. Like Michael Jackson says it, you, <laughs> you be you so I can be me. Oh, yeah. You know? Wow. Yeah, yeah, you know, and I think that's a really good good thing to consider. You know? Okay. Well, thank you for coming out on this lovely day, oh, yeah. Esteban. I really enjoyed this conversation. Oh, yeah. And I uh, wish you much luck with your business thank and your you. future endeavors. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name's Malcolm Favor. I'm the creator of Dreamer Loop. Uh, Malcolm is a journalist who's writing an uh, online blog about entrepreneurs and actors and actresses and people of the performing arts who are coming into their mastery. Okay, so today we're gonna go to downtown LA and uh, we're gonna go check out some spaces to 